Hey guys, how you doing? Bringer here. Welcome back to the channel. And welcome to Season 9. Pretty excited for this. Um, in this video, I want to go over, you know, some of my top ship picks for the season. And share some tips that I think will help you guys do better in the season. Um, so right off the start, you know, we're going to be seeing some Mutsus. I think that's going to be a top pick battleship. The Bidioni going to be a good cruiser we're going to see those out there for its range and setting fires Ismail people are going to be playing Ismail because it slaps lots of guns just don't get shot inside Dallas and Pensacola we're going to be seeing both of those Pensacola will absolutely be able to dominate other cruisers in this so I will be playing a lot of uh, Pensacola Dallas myself um, Fubu, Like uh, last season I played a lot of destroyers, so I'm really not gonna play any destroyers this season I'm gonna be doing cruises and battleships. I want to get in there and brawl this time, but Fubuki's probably a lot of those being seen um, We're gonna be seeing Fusos because Fusos do Fuso stuff I'll probably play mine some Leander's definitely another good pick for you. It's got that smoke cloud and sonar. Can't go wrong with that. She also will wreck other cruisers pretty good. Uh, Queen Elizabeth, she'll do good. Bayern, he'll do good. Um, <clears throat> play what you guys have. Uh, a tip is um, Play what you got the best of, you know what I'm saying? If you got a really good commander for a certain type of ship and you're good at that ship, play it. Play what you're used to playing. Um, another thing that's going to help you guys out this season, help me out too if you do it, is turn your mics on, man. Communicate with people. It's five-man teams, so uh, if we can communicate with each other, two or three people communicating, you're going to win. You're going to raise your uh, your win rate during this season if you guys use your headsets and your mics. Instead of just driving around honking your damn ship horn and stuff like that. Let's go to the store and look at some other good ships for this season that I don't have. Um, Graf Spay. We're going to be seeing Graf Spays. Arizona is going to be another good ship because she hits like a Mack truck. Um... I'm going to say London probably do pretty good in this too. I don't have London. I wish I did. It's a cool ship. Um, this ship, I'm not too sure about it. It's a freaking destroyer, so I don't care too much. Exeter, people are going to be playing Exeter for sure. Um, Molotov, definitely. I don't have Molotov either. That'll be another good tier 5 ship for you guys to pick if you have her. Got enough free EXP saved up to buy a nice ship here too, guys. Happy about that. But yeah, leave a comment below. Stay, stay in touch with me throughout the season. Let me know what rank you guys are up to, what ships you're playing and doing well with. Um, just to help the community out, people could look at the comments and see what ships are working, what ships aren't. Um, if you guys start getting frustrated during this season, this ship will probably do good too. The Trento. Not a bad ship at all. It looks good. Um, what was I saying? I freaking forgot. Anyways, like um, I said, use your comms. Communicate with each other. If you don't have a mic, at least give confirmation, negative or affirmatives to people. Stay alive as long as you guys can in these battles. Don't, especially if you're the destroyer. Help you. Stay alive, you know, just spot. You don't always have to get in there and torp people. You're not if you want to get rank one, <clears throat> you're not gonna get max damage every damn game. So quit trying to think you're gonna get max damage and get that crack in every game. Just if you wanna get freaking rank one, don't be greedy. Stay alive, spot for your people, and that goes for the battleships and cruises too. Don't be a dick and not support your Destroyer if he's in there and he needs help and you can shoot at the enemy destroyer or cruiser that's harassing them 
You know, don't don't focus on the balance shift. I would honestly say your main focus for this season, kill the destroyer first, go for the cruisers, then the battleships. Do it in that order. Too many times last season I saw battleships shooting at each other back and forth, ignoring the cruisers that were out in the open and destroyers not even shooting at them. So sometimes all it takes is that one overpen from your battleship on a destroyer to finish them off. So if you have a shot on a freaking destroyer, shoot it. If you guys can get rid of theirs and keep yours alive, your percentage chance to win just doubled at least. So, help your destroyer out. If you're playing a destroyer, don't be greedy and have to try and sink everything. Just get vision on stuff for people. If you can't take a cap, if, if you feel like you're going to get shot at trying to take a cap, don't take the cap until you got assistance. Nuremberg, I don't know. Some people might play Nuremberg. I'm a cruiser player mostly, so you know my top picks are, are going to be Bugnoni, Pensacola, and Dallas battleships because of what I have. I'm going to be playing Fuso mainly. Ismail, possibly. Mutsu, I don't know. Californias, we're going to see Californias. I don't know. She's just too big for me. She's, I don't, I don't want to play a big slow target like that. Mm, no. But yeah, anyway, I hope wish you guys the best of luck in the season. I know season eight was a pain in the ass for a lot of people, myself included. So good luck if you guys get frustrated. Take a freaking break. Go go kill some AIs or something. You know, have a good time doing that. Owning them. And then go back to ranked play and be serious. Like I said, turn your mics on. Or if somebody else has their mic on and they're asking you for help, listen to them. If you're not going to turn your headset on, at least use the, the communication button and say something. Because that, that can help so much for a person's confidence going into a fight. If they ask you to assist on a target or something and they know you're going to be helping them, it, it, it just helps. Um... Yeah, if you can get um a division going for this ranked season, I'm guessing it's probably gonna only be two man division. So that that'll help out too. Two guys communicating. I'm not even sure about the division. I haven't I haven't played any games yet, but I'm about to hit it hard. It started me off at uh, rank ten, so that's nice. <clears throat> All right, guys, um, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, consider it. Leave a like. Help other people see this video. Comment below what ships you guys think are going to be the best ships for this ranked season. Let me know what rank you guys are getting to. And um, stay tuned for more ranked videos. I'll be posting as many videos as I can from this season, win or lose. You know, I want to try and highlight some videos possibly this season where, you know, I might make a mistake or something throughout a game as a learning um, tutorial, I guess, whatever. Learning, learning something, get learned on what not to do. So, yeah. All right. Catch you guys in the next video.